Hello, and welcome to another installment of The Good Stuff, uh, my series on how to do some cool things on the PC3 um, that go beyond just um, the usual kinds of synthesis or, or that expand what the PC3 can really do. What I want to talk about today is going beyond FM. So this is uh, taking FM or frequency modulation into territory that... Uh, I won't say it's been unexplored, but it's definitely not reachable on most other synthesizers, uh, both hardware and software. Okay, so um, let's start out by doing some basic FM stuff. So I'm going to quickly here uh, go through, I'm going to uh, grab a couple of operators from my um, FM parts programs. Uh, let's see, let's delete that layer. Okay, so uh, just so you can see here, here's my first uh, operator. So I'm going to import another layer. I'm not going to worry right now about um, uh, importing uh, uh, um, different different harmonics. I'm just going to stick with the first harmonic. So all these are going to be the first harmonic. So let's see here. Let's go to uh, the amp page, layer one. Turn this down. So now. So layer one, it's going into layer two. Um, so operator one is modulating operator two. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to import two more layers real quick here. So I'm going to import uh, same thing again, and I'm going to go ahead and um, import the same thing again. All right, so let's go to layer three, uh, alg page. Okay, I'm going to pull the output from layer two. Uh, let's go down to layer two page here. Oops. Go to the amp, turn it all the way down. Okay, so now things are starting to get um, uh, fairly distorted. So let's go up to layer three. We'll just go ahead and turn this all the way down. Um, let's go to layer four to the alg page and take the input from layer three. Okay, so what I have here is one, two, three. Okay, so I, I have the signal starting here. So here's operator one, here's operator two, here's operator three, here's operator four. They're all tuned to the same um, harmonic, which in this case is the first harmonic or the fundamental. So in series, you get this sort of fairly sharp sound. Now, we don't have to stick, obviously, with the stuff that we have here. Um, what I mean by that is all these blocks here we can shift this stuff around. We can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, one thing I'm going to show you today is uh, the effect of filters uh, in series with operators. Okay, so I have operator one and operator two. Okay, so those two combined create a, a, um, uh, a fairly complex spectrum. Okay, and that's modulating operator three, which is modulating operator four. Let's say that uh, I'm going to pick a different algorithm here, 106. Um, I want to put in a high pass filter. All right, so I'm going to do that. Where's my high pass? Or a band pass filter, excuse me. All right, so now I have operator one going into operator two. The output of those is going into a band pass filter and then into a fourth operator. Now I think that the only pre wired uh, synth that can do this on the market. Uh, I think the Yamaha FS1R might be able to do something like this. Maybe some of the SY series. I definitely know that um, the Native Instruments FM8 can do this uh, because they have a, um, I think it's called it Operator Z, which is actually a filter, and you can put it in series or, or, or route it however you want with, with the other operators. Okay, so, so right now we're starting to get into FM stuff that isn't completely exclusive to the PC3, but it's definitely... Um, not found in most other FM since. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go to DSP control page and set this to 100 cents per key. Okay, now we can barely hear a bit. Let's see here. Let's open up the bandwidth here. Okay, so with this bandpass filter, I can select different parts of the frequency spectrum coming out of op operators one and two and send that off into operator four for more FM modification. 
Okay, so you can hear the effect that has. Now I'm going to go beyond. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to import two more layers, okay? So this will be layer 5. And let's import another layer. Okay, and this will be layer 6. What I want to do now is I want to have two filters in parallel. Um, and, and so I want my bandpass filtered signal going into one operator. I'm going to add in another filter, a low pass filter, and I'm going to have that go into another operator. So we're using a total of four operators, and we're going to have two filters in between, um, which is something that it, just here in, in six layers, we're going to be doing something that I think only you know packages like Max, MSP, and Reactor can really do. So let's go ahead and, whoops, I don't want to do that. Let's delete that layer. Sorry, I went to the wrong page here. Let's go to the ALG page, okay, and wire this up. So we're going to go down to layer 5. Layer 5 is going to take the output from layer 2, okay, so that's the output from um, our second operator, and it's going to have um, algorithm 106 also. It's going to have a low pass filter, okay. And then um, layer 6 is going to take its input the signal coming out of layer 5. Okay, and so and this is just going to be another operator. So let's play this right now. So let's go back down to layer 5 here. And I'm going to go to the um, DSP mod uh, control page. I'm going to set this to 100 cents per key. So you can hear as I scroll through the frequencies there. Now, the fun part is, anybody who deals with filters and synthesizers wants to know what happens if I add resonance. Well, let's do that. Now that's pretty cool. So if I go to um, the other layer here where I have a filter, my bandpass filter, So, um, I don't know the mathematics behind all this stuff. At this point, um, the math is getting pretty complicated because already with FM you got Bessel functions. Now we're throwing in um, filters and then we're taking the filtered output and we're putting that into other operators. And so those Bessel functions will look really funky and, and everything. So, but, but that's the beauty of the PC3. See, I didn't have to go very far to get out of territory that's covered by practically any other synthesizer software or hardware. And I can keep going, too. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit Import Layer. I'm going to throw in a third branch. Okay, so we're going to be using, I think it's five operators. And this branch is going to have a high-pass filter involved. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hit Import once. I'm going to hit, whoops going to hit um, import twice okay so now we have a total of eight layers so for layer seven I want this to take again the output of layer two okay and I'm going to use algorithm 106 let's go ahead and throw in here our high pass filter okay and then layer eight is going to take the output of layer seven okay Let's go back to layer 7 here and turn down the amp so we're not getting the signal out of layer 7. And now... Now let's throw in some resonance on the high pass filter. Let's set uh, key tracking to... Now there's the nice nasty sound. Um, it has all sorts of fun things going on with it. Let's crank this all the way up. Now, none of the operators are detuned against each other, but the filters are. Okay, so like if I go to here, I've got C4, here I've got G7. So we got all sorts of random frequencies in the filters. Now, between the coarse and the fine, of course, 
uh, you could create uh, filters that are turn, tuned to the 32 harmonics in the harmonic series if you wanted to stick to the way uh, FM synthesis works. So you could do things like have filters that are tuned to the sixth harmonic, you know, modulating uh, the output of operators that are tuned to the first and third harmonic and just do all sorts of really awesome crazy stuff. And we can keep going up to 32 layers, you know. I can keep adding in stuff. I could add in different filters. Um, there's all sorts of different uh, things that I can put in here. For instance, let's say I don't want a two-pole high pass. Let's go ahead and go with a parametric uh, mid-frequency equalizer, okay? So, um, again, I'm going to set key tracking here to 100 cents per key. Now I'm going to cut. Okay, so that's, that's a much more subtle effect. Now let's boost. Again, kind of subtle, so it's not quite as cool as our high pass filter, but, but now we can experiment, we can throw all sorts of stuff in here, and we can create some really crazy sounds that um, pretty much are, um, for all intents and purposes, new. Let's do with, let's go ahead and try an all pass filter. Again, I'm going to turn on key tracking. So, um, that's the end of this particular video. Uh, I think I've exhausted all the two block stuff that I wanted to demonstrate. Um, I hope that you will take what you've learned in the tutorial series and in these good stuff videos and start creating your own fun methods of synthesis because there's a whole bunch of things that we could still do. Uh, of course we don't have to stick with filters. We could go ahead and do things like sine plus which is actually um, a um, um, which is amplitude modulation, okay? So now I've got an amplitude modulation going on with frequency modulation. And the amplitude modulation, because it's between operators, allows you to, uh, to, to, to control Now isn't that fun? Because it's controlling the amplitude of that particular operator going into another operator, it's uh, it's changing the tonal um, uh, the, the 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 tonal density we'll call it of the, of the sound that's coming out of that operator. Okay, uh, so I thought I was at the end of this video, but this is just too much fun to play with. Um, I hope you have as much fun as I'm having uh, playing with this stuff on your PC3. Uh, I've already posted the download links. I'll post them again on. Uh, the comment section or in, in the description for this video so that you can download my templates and play with them and go forth and multiply and have all sorts of fun creating new types of synthesis. Okay, I will see you with the next Good Stuff tutorial video. Thanks a lot for watching.